Hey guys, it's Snaps here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm excited to have you join me. In my last tutorial, I mentioned about a fantastic AI tool that will literally help you clone any website. In that tutorial, I showed how you can use a snip and how you can use the URL of that page to clone a website. If you've not seen that tutorial, I recommend that you check that too as well. Uh, the link to that tutorial is in the video description. I just thought to experiment more with this tool to see what I can do. So I just went ahead to Google to just type in games. And then this uh, website just uh, popped up, playtictactoe.org. I realized that it's a tic-tac-toe game website. It's a, it's a website you can just come and just play this tic-tac game here, literally for free. And I felt this is awesome. This is fantastic. Uh, let me see if I can replicate this with this AI. And I was able to. And these are the features here. You can see I just played the game right now. It's a tie. There was no winner. I played with computer, I can choose uh, uh, whether or not I want to make it a player or I want to make it two players. If I have uh, somebody here as well again, uh, we can just play this game together. I also realized that these also have uh, a sound uh, effect here. So right now I can play the game so you can hear the sound right now. Uh, so that's quite very, very beautiful. So you can see here that the computer just won and this is exactly what this website is about. Okay, so right now, let me show you exactly what I was able to do inside of an Elementor WordPress website here. I was able to use this AI tool to generate a code that replicate the same thing as a matter of fact, improved upon the game. So this is my own game here. So you can see that I can play it so I can, you can see the sound. I can, you can see this. You can see the sound here it says it's a tie so this is a little bit different this is well improved upon than that so uh, i also make sure that i have this here to toggle on whether or not i want the sound or not unlike the other website there i just thought that you have another column here for winner so since i have a column here for tie indicating that there's a tie another one for winner and then we can see a place here for player one and also the computer uh, so you can see i can toggle on between one mode or two player mode and i also went ahead to see how i can add uh difficulty so now you can play as a beginner or as an expert so if you're playing as a beginner for example you can see that it's very easy for you to win so sorry computer won me there so uh let's play something entirely different again so you can see x win there very super easy to win but once you switch this to an expert mode you would see that it will be literally almost impossible for you to win the computer you literally need to work a little more harder for you to be able to win uh, so let me show you exactly how i was able to do this the tool i'm talking about here is screenshots to code.com and this is where i built the tool so from here if we scroll down here you will see the versions and the prompts that i used to generate this so uh, for the version one, I just put in the URL of that website here and then it came up with this. Uh, so let me click this. So this is exactly what it came up with. So I realized that nothing is working. So you see, if I click it, it is just a table, nothing more. And then I went on ahead to customize this. I came here to. So just come here uh, to tell the AI mode what to change. So inside of this. Uh, a box here i typed in a prompt i said this is a tic-tac-toe game website the website allow you to play the game either as a single player or a double player if you're a single player you are player x and computer is player o the tie counts when there is no winner uh, so uh, if i click this right now this was exactly what it was able to generate for me so right now the game was built here so you can see i can now start playing the game and it was quite very very fantastic so you can see i just literally won there it now says player one as one but you can see there is no announcement there is nothing there is no sound uh, so that took me to the next prompt i told uh this here that when a player wins announce it boldly on the screen the winner make it ceremonial also make the tie number count when there is no winner had another column for winner count at this prompt this was exactly what uh it came up with so right now i now notice that i have another column here for winner count so now i realize that if i play the game right now and then 
at the computer wins you can see that it's not announcing that uh computer has won or player o has won so that's exactly what that prompt was able to do so the next prompt i did was had a sound effect when a player plays and then i said different effect for different players so when i did this this was what it was able to come up with so now that i play you can hear the sound right now so quite very fantastic there so you can see then i have that sound and then i went up again and then i'll say that the fifth uh, version here it says that use the sound button icon at the top right to switch on and off the sound mode and if i go to what i get right now so i now realize that if i'm playing right now i can toggle off this sound mode and then you can see the sound is gone and then x wins so one thing i realized after this version is that it's very easy for you to win and that will make the game very boring so i went ahead to have another prompt and, and that's at version 6 here so i told this ai add two difficulty levels to the game at the beginner level the player can easily win computer and at expert level it becomes more difficult and then the ai tool came up with the final version which we have on our website there and then he now added this button here for beginner where i can toggle in between the beginner and expert mode and that's exactly how i was able to use this screenshot.com uh, ai to to create this fantastic game and then i just uh, came up to the code i copied the code and i pasted it inside of elementor and voila i have this website here isn't this amazing i could just easily have copied that code and then i will just paste it directly into my server so that i will not be using wordpress but i chose to use wordpress just for experimental purpose and that's the reason why you can see here that the game is taking the style from elementor so you can see this color here uh the styles that i have inside of element very easy for me to paste this here so if i come back here you can see all i did was to have a container here and then an html widget and i just copied and pasted the code here and that's it that's everything for my container here i just uh made this full width by changing this to vh and making it 100 uh for it to have a full screen effect i can align it i can bring this a little bit down i can put a space at the top i can do whatever i want to do with this I can also add containers for ads around so that I can monetize that page uh, just like this so that once anybody come here to uh, play game, I can earn some money. And I find this super amazing that within just a few minutes, I am able to replicate a website like this with its functionality using an AI tool. That's quite amazing. Screenshot uh, to code.com is an amazing website. I love it i just came across it and i'm experimenting with things that i can do with this tool and so far it's been good it's been amazing so you can check the video description to see a link to this tool uh, maybe i should log out here uh, so if you're here all you have to do is just hit the get started button sign up with an email address or a password you can sign up with uh, your github or with your google account that's literally up to you unfortunately it is not a pay tool if you create a free account you have an interface like this and you can see that you have the option here for you to paste in your url or drag and drop everything here you have the option to do that but you will not be able to use them or do anything with them until you subscribe like 15 dollars so you can see here get 100 code generation for 15 dollars so if you click this you'll be able to see their payment so for 15 dollars per month you can get 100 credit and for 40 dollars per month you can get 300 credit so if you switch this to a yearly plan you can see that with 150 dollars per year you can get 100 credit per month and with 400 dollars uh, per year you can get 300 credit per month also from here again you can see that you have uh some control like html and tailwind which i'm using right now you can switch this to html and css you can use uh, react and tailwind uh, you can use quite a number of things even to bootstrap and i think this is amazing the ai model works so you can use gpt 4.0 and i think this is amazing really really amazing amazing stuff uh, so go experiment with this and let me know your results that's my time for this tutorial i'll see you in another one until then stay safe